Have you ever sat down with a brand new game that you've been putting off playing for a long time and then you finally get it and then just you find yourself completely disinterested and bored within the first few hours leaving you to run back to that oh so familiar title the one that you know so so well why spend all that time you know going through tutorials and an eternity of opening cinematics when you've already done that in another game that you can just pick up and play immediately. This is called the mere exposure effect, or the familiar. The this is called the mere exposure effect, or the familiarity principle. The familiarity principle is usually something that's used when talking about relationships and why people are attracted to traits that they're well fam familiar with. You see this all the time with people when they break up and the next person that they get with is just like their ex was. It's not necessarily because you like Johnny No Name and that he cares for you in ways that you never imagined, Karen. You might just have a thing for guys that drive Honda Civics with fucking loud ass mufflers and that drink monster energy drink 24 seven. This principle isn't restricted to just relationships. You see this everywhere in media. This type of thinking is rampant in gaming. There's the age-old meme of, you know, not having anything to play. Meanwhile, your Steam library over there is quivering for just the slightest touch since the Steam summer sale. The familiarity principle causes a lot of stagnation in the games that you want to try, but also with the games that might not even be released yet. You know, yearly releases cash in on this extremely well. Take any yearly release game, could be Call of Duty, could be FIFA. At the core, yearly release games have not changed that much in recent years. I mean, I'd say probably over the last decade, you know, your big yearly titles are the definition of formulaic. You know what you get when you pick up the next Call of Duty game. Sure, there might be new features, but that's like saying your turkey sandwich is a different sandwich because you put mayonnaise on it and not mustard. It's this familiarity that subconsciously draws players back to these games. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but used in the right ways, it could be a manipulative practice. Games that are highly addictive and that use Skinner box methods, you know, come to mind. You know, using pseudo gambling methods to keep players coming back for that item that they just haven't been able to get yet. I think this is why, after years of playing Destiny myself and being burned numerous times by it, that I still ended up purchasing that next expansion. You can go to any video that's talking about Forsaken, and in the comments you'll see people saying, all these people complaining and disliking are still going to buy the game. And they aren't wrong. People are still going to buy it because it's familiar to them. We've been conditioned to play things that we know. When a game is good but not excellent, and keeps you playing for whatever reason, you hold out hope that something will come along and make it better. Meanwhile, out there in the yonder, in the far distance, newer, better experiences are awaiting. But you'll stick with the familiar just because it's too much effort and too much work to learn new things when you can just sit down and play something you know. People value their time heavily, and when you just want to pick up a game and unwind, the familiar is going to be the most tempting and is going to be the one that you're going to go with. You're not going to want to sit through a couple hours of trying to figure out some ruthless mechanics for the next ball-crushingly hard game when you could just sit down and play a few rounds and then be done and go to bed, have a beer, and you're done. In and out. It's important to remember that just because something's familiar, it doesn't mean it's the right option, though. I, for example, I'm not intending on getting this new Destiny expansion. But in the back of my mind, there's that familiarity that's going, Tyler, Tyler, please spend more money on me. $400 wasn't enough. I need it. When the familiar becomes invasive to new experiences, you gotta ask yourself if the familiar is worth the time that could be allotted to potentially better things. But anyways, that's just my thoughts on the matter. Let me know what you guys think down below. How many times have you guys been distracted from new experiences because you just want to go and play something that you already know. Let me know down below. Be sure to follow me on my socials, on my Twitter if you want to see me retweet Zelda fan art that I see all the damn time, and on my Instagram where I post drunken nonsense most of the time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already and you would like to see similar content to this. Like only if you like, dislike if you dislike. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.